Uh, my talk is devoted to recognition by the Greenberg Kagan graph and, uh, and uh, is based on our joint work with Natalia Maslova. Uh, let me begin with some agreements and definitions. It's uh, uh, all the all groups under consideration are finite. Um, we say uh, the spectrum omega of J of a group J is the collection of all uh, elements orders of J, and the prime spectrum phi of J is the collection of all prime elements of uh, spectrum of J. And equivalently, pi of j is a set of prime divisors of j, of order j. And uh, for, um, as I said, uh, as uh, it's, it, it was told today many times, uh, the Grunberg Kagan graph uh, is an um, uh, undirected graph without loops and multiple edge, uh, edges, uh, whose set of vertices is uh, pi of j. and uh, uh, distinct vertices uh, pi and q are adjacent if and only if uh, there is an element of order pi q in uh, omega of j. And um, uh, for example, here's a Grunberg Kagan graph of symmetric group of degree phi. Um, uh, now, let me give uh, some more definitions. We say that uh, group j is recognizable. Uh, we say that group J is recognizable by the Grunberg Kagan graph if there is only one group H with the same Grunberg Kagan graph, K recognizable if uh, there are exactly K and pairwise non isomorphic groups with the same Grunberg Kagan graph, uh, almost recognizable if uh, J is K recognizable for some natural K and unrecognizable by its Grunberg Kagan graph if there are infinitely many pairwise non isomorphic groups. With the same Greenberg Kagan graph. Uh, we will also use some standard notation. Uh, J is uh, uh, J is uh, almost simple if it is sandwiched uh, between a simple group S and its automorphism group. And a solvable radical of group J is a unique largest solvable normal subgroup of J and the fitting subgroup. F of J is the unique largest normal important subgroup of J. Also, we denote the maximal normal P subgroup by O sub P of J. Um, I will now give some background. Uh, recently, um, Natalia Maslova and Peter Cameron proved the following theorem. Uh, and the group J is unrecognizable by the Grunberg Kagan graph if and only if there uh, exists a group H with the same Grunberg Kagan graph and non trivial solvable radical. Um, moreover, uh, in, uh, in the same paper, it was proven that the group J is almost recognizable by the Grunberg Kagan graph if and only if each group H with the same Grunberg Kagan graph is almost simple. Uh, and we, we can interpret it, this result in the following way. Um, if some group is almost recognizable, then it is uh, necessarily almost simple. So mm, the opposite question naturally arises. Um, given an almost simple group J, uh, decide whether J is recognizable, K recognizable for some K, or unrecognizable by its Grunberg Kagan graph. Mm -hmm. And uh, a lot of work is being done on this issue. And uh, our contribution to solving this problem is as follows. Um, uh, we focus it on solving this problem for group with a small prime spectrum, uh, more accurately for simple groups, uh, such that the prime divisors of the order do not exceed 13. And, um, However, work is still in progress, um, as you can see. And um, let me give some overview of our result. Um, here are the groups that uh, we found to be unrecognizable by the Grunberg-Kegel graph. And um, for each of the group, 
uh, from the list an example of a group with same Grunberg K graph and uh, non-trivial solvable radical was found. Uh, uh, note that many of many of uh, groups from the list was already known uh, to be unrecognizable, but uh, we checked and uh, restructured this results uh, accordingly. Um, the next part of the theorem is about uh, almost recognizable groups, and uh, we denote the number of pairwise non-isomorphic group groups with the same grunberg kegel graph as, as J by uh, H sub gamma of J. And you can see the values in the table. Uh, note that there are uh, less uh, than unrecognizable uh, groups that's almost recognizable from the, from the groups uh, with this small uh, prime spectrum. And um, and as I, as I said before, the result is uh, still in progress. So uh, there are cases that uh, haven't been done yet. Uh, on the slide, you can see what we can say about the groups with Grunberg Kegel graph uh, of five or uh, of U four five and L five three at the moment. Um, now, uh, now I'm going to discuss the methods we use. Uh, one of the important results is the uh, classification of th three and uh, four primary groups with a disconnected grunberg kegel graph by Anatoly Kondratiev and Ilya Hamsov. And uh, as an example, as an example based on the uh, based on this classification, we get this lemma which is, uh, in my opinion, is quite pretty because we, ha we have here five recognizable group. And uh, as you can see, uh, the non-abelian uh, radical uh, is distinct from what we have here. And uh, that's why I think, uh, in, in my opinion, it is uh, quite pretty. Um, next, I want to demonstrate how the proof of unrecognizability took place. And uh, I want to demonstrate it uh, using the example. And uh, let us construct the group J. Uh, let, let, us, uh, let us imagine that we want to prove that A5 uh, is unrecognizable by the Grunberg ticket graph. Here you can see the graph. And uh, what we need to use, firstly, uh, we use the structural theorem was the groups with disconnected grunberg kegel graphs that was obtained by Grunberg and Kegel. And uh, knowing the structure of Frobenius and uh, two Frobenius group, uh, we can exclude the first two points of the theorem um, when we talk about A5. Um, because, because the structure of Frobenius and two Frobenius group uh, is is a, is a not like uh, uh, Grunberg Kegel graph of A five, and then uh, we we have that our group J with the same Grunberg Kegel graph as A five uh, is the extension of some nilpotent phi one group by uh, a almost simple group A, and uh, since phi one is a, a connected component of Grunberg Kegel graph of J that contains uh, number two, then we can mm, we can say that uh, our new potent uh, group is two group for our case for I, uh, A5. And um, uh, next we need the obvious but useful claim. Uh, we see that primes are adjacent in the Grunberg Kegel graph if and only if there are uh, commuting elements of the corresponding orders. And um, here is idea. Um, if we construct the vector space over the field of characteristic two, such that elements from A5 of order three and five 
act on its fixed point freely, then from the claim above, uh, it is follows that uh, natural semi-direct product will have the same Greenberg Kagan graph as J. And uh, basically, since V is abelian, the resulting semi-direct product uh, will will have will has a non-trivial solvable ready. Uh, and this fact com combined with the criteria of unrecognizability uh, implies that A5 uh, will be unrecognizable by the Grunberg Kagan graph. But, um, but how do we construct this vector space? Uh, and uh, that's uh, where the following lemma turns out to be useful. Uh, now, if we if the rover character table of our group is known, then using this lemma, we can easily calculate the, the, the dimension of a centralizer. And uh, then uh, we can obtain uh, if, uh, uh, if uh, corresponding elements are commute or not in our semi-direct product using this lemma. And using this lemma, we can get um, that um, mm, yeah, we, we, we can obtain if uh, uh, such elements uh, of, uh, of of primes of part four on uh, of prime three and five act uh, on our vector space fixing point freely, and uh, then uh, we obtain uh, this result, and uh, uh, for um, for A5, uh, two modular characters is, uh, of course, known. And uh, actually, for A5, uh, we can uh, check it using GP system uh, that uh, there is such a vector space. And so A5 is unrecognizable by the Grunberg Kate graph. And, uh, but it is not only one way to construct. Uh, for, for small groups, it is quite uh, useful and uh, easy way to construct as an uh, example of the group with a non trivial solvable radical, but it is not the only way. Uh, and for example, uh, for the group uh, L264, um, there, there, there is a, a natural two-dimensional GF64L264 uh, modular such that all elements of prime order from L264 uh, uh, act on this modular fixing point freely. And uh, so, and semi-direct product uh, has the same grunberg kagan graph uh, SL264. And actually, uh, it is not hard to show that it holds in general case for this uh, series of group. Um, and concluding uh, my report, I want to focus on problems that we wasn't deal uh, with yet. Uh, firstly, in the case of L53, we don't know uh, whether two group is trivial or not. And uh, this question refers to the theory of modular representations. And in particular, the speaker is not aware of any representation of, of this group in the field of characteristic two. And uh, if there uh, exists uh, such two group, then L53 will be unrecognizable. And uh, if there isn't, then it will be uh, too recognizable. It will be only the group and this and the automorphism group. Uh, well, here you can see some references and uh, that's all. Thank you for attention. Uh, thank you so much, Leah. Thank you for talk. Uh, are there any questions, comments? Uh, uh, maybe Natasha, do you want to say something? 
Yes, of course, as a co-author, I will be happy to tell a few words. Uh, Liv, could you please uh, demonstrate uh, our results about L53 and U45? Mm -hmm. uh, yes, thank you. Uh, here, uh, if you consider to this two theorems, they look very similar. However, their proofs uh, are, in some sense, uh, very distant. Since for L35, we can use Grun the grunberg kegel theorem. And since the grunberg kegel graph of this group is uh, disconnected, and uh, this uh, proof is not trivial, but uh, is not so complicated. Uh, at the same time, if you consider U45, uh, the grunberg kegel graph of this group is connected. And uh, unfortunately, we cannot use here the grunberg kegel theorem. And we cannot uh, directly see that um, this solvable radical is uh, important. So uh, this place is rather complicated in some sense. However, it's possible to go through East proof uh, so called quasi recognizability. So uh, I think that uh, on, the, on the case of groups with connected Greenberg Kegel graphs, really the question of recognizability by Greenberg Kegel graph is more and more complicated than the question of recognizability by spectrum. However, and there are examples of groups of Greenberg Kegel graphs which are recognizable. We've connected Greenberg Kegel graphs which are recognizable by graph. So I think this this possible doable. Yeah, yes, I understand. Yeah, it's. Uh, I think this is the main difficult uh, with these two groups. Yes. Uh, yeah, this is the main. And uh, those results are uh, obtained uh, within summer workshop. Or, or you continue with your project after summer workshop? Uh, of course, so, uh, this project is in progress. Uh, in, in progress, yeah. The, this result, of course, is in progress. Uh, here, really, here I see uh, the results, but this is exactly, this is not the final form which I know. Mm -hmm. no. Actually, actually, uh, I think uh, we can execute this uh, Radical. Uh, here, here uh, it is hard because it's uh, refused to the representation theory. But uh, uh, we ha we have a hope that uh, in this case uh, this solvable radical can be excluded. Yeah, I understand. Yeah, thank you. Uh, so, are there any other questions, comments? Why thirteen? Thirteen, uh, Victor. Yes. Yeah. Uh, there is an uh, old work of Vasiliev uh, where it uh, was uh, uh, found all uh, all groups uh, uh, which uh, prime spectrum do not exceed 13 and uh, was found the uh, what was solved the recognizability problem by spectrum. So it's uh, uh, our continue of this work. Uh, and um, we can ask Andrei Viktorovich uh, why is 13 in his work? Because, because uh, at that time it was, well, what you can do. And, uh, and by the way, of course, it was just need to, to consider some difficult cases. I mean, like, like you, uh, like you two cases remaining. I mean, uh, but my question is, if you, if, uh, you ask me, uh, can I see the um, general result? The general result to start with. Uh, so, uh, not, not maybe earlier. We know it uh, earlier. You say uh, you said in your talk, I believe, that uh, you solved this problem for all almost simple groups. Mm, not not I for for simple only for simple ah okay 
Yeah, yeah, we can set it only simple groups. Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. The problem is for almost simple group, yes, and that problem is so for simple group. Because yes, for yes. All, for all, almost simple group, uh, even with uh, that spectrum, I believe, prime spectrum, I believe that it's very hard problem. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Yes. Okay. Uh, are there any other questions, comments? So, uh, if no, uh, let us thank our speaker. Uh, let we congratulate you with uh, very interesting results. So, thank you.